Now let us take a case of tossing three coins. Tossing three coins, first coin, second coin, third coin. Yes, the experiment can be explained in this way. Head or tail on the first coin. Then second coin. Again, head or tail is possible, but head on first and head or tail on second. Or tail on first, head on second, or tail on first, tail on second. Now the third coin is also tossed. Again, head, tail, head or tail, head or tail, head or tail. So total number of possible outcomes comes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, 8 outcomes are possible if 3 coins are tossed. What are the 8 outcomes? Head, head and head. Head on the first, head on the second, head on the third. Then head, head, tail. Then head, tail, head. Then head, tail, tail. Now, tail, head, head. Tail, head, tail. Tail, tail, head. Tail, tail, tail. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These 8 outcomes are possible. Now we want to calculate various probabilities but first of all total number of possible outcomes or possible cases or possible results that is 8. The first case is probability of 3 heads. How many outcomes are favorable to this particular event? Only one. Head on the first, head on the second and head on the third. That is the only outcome in favor of this. So, favorable number of outcomes that is only one. And again, probability is the ratio of favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So, probability of three heads equals to favorable cases 1 divided by total number of cases 4 that is 0 0.25 so 8, sorry 8 right it comes to 0 0.125 1 divided by 8 that is 0 0.125 now let us take second case be alert in case of second and third Probability of two heads, two heads, getting two heads. How many favorable outcomes are possible? One, two and three. These three are actually possible outcomes. So, favorable outcomes. Therefore, probability of two heads three by eight or zero point three seven five. The third one is similar case actually. Only one head. 1, 2 and 3. These three are outcomes favorable to the happening of the event getting one head. Probability of one head. Favorable number of outcomes that is 3. So probability of one head equals to 3 by 8 that is 
0.375. Probability of getting two heads or one head is equally likely event. The probability of happening of these two events is exactly same, 1, 3 by 8 or 0 0.375. And the last case, probability of no head. Favorable case is 1. Only one. No head, that means tail on all the three coins. Probability of no head equals to 1 by 8, that is 0 0.125. Again, the sum of these values is 1. one. That means these four possible cases are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. No other fifth case is possible. If we toss three coins really, we get either three heads or two heads or one head or no head. No other fifth outcome is possible. The entire case can be studied with reference to number of tails in the same way. Probability of three tails, that is probability of no head. Probability of two tails, that is probability of one head. Probability of one head, that is probability of two heads. And probability of no tail, that is probability of three heads. Again, the summation is one. Yes? Thank you.